Lucy, it's Tuesday, and today I would like to rant. So I just finished up getting some of my stuff ready for college, and while I was doing that I had Doctor Who playing on my laptop. Um, it was an episode I'd already seen, hence otherwise I would have been paying attention. Um, I've been bagging stuff up, and you can see I have a new shelf back there, which is the shelf I'm going to take with me to school. It has the movies on it that I'm taking with me and some books which is fun I just finished putting that together and moving stuff around um, bagging stuff like I said and all that good fun things uh, um, figured I would do this before I went on and did more stuff with um, getting stuff ready I actually had a brilliant idea the other day um, yesterday I remembered that today I'd have to make a video because it's Tuesday. So what I did is the program I use to make my videos, I pulled it up and saved the file for uh, the video I wanted to make that way and then like I left it pulled up that way I wouldn't forget today to make my video. It was smart because otherwise I would have forgotten because the only reason I remembered was because I came over to my laptop to like shut stuff down and saw it. So um, I'm going to have to remember that little trick so I don't ever forget to make my video, which I think I only did once. There was one time I uploaded it late, like the next day, but I had the video done. I just was busy and completely forgot. Um, there was one other time I forgot, but I still got it uploaded on the same day. But, yes, so, to, just kind of a little quick, well, not really quick, but, um, little, that's what I've, I'm doing, that's what's up with me, um, so, yes, now on to my ranting. So it took me a long time to realize, but I think I've finally come to the conclusion that I think differently than other people. I don't know, it's kind of like, whenever I watch Doctor Who, it makes me always think of this, how he says about he thinks too much and sometimes he does things and he doesn't understand why because he's always thinking. That's kind of like me. My brain never stops. That's why it's so hard for me to sleep because I'm thinking, like I'm always thinking, just thinking, 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 like my brain is going constantly, like firing a million miles per second. So, like, I make connections to things a lot. That's why, like, sometimes I'll be having a conversation with someone or ranting about something, and my brain's connecting to all these different things that where I start and where I stop, it's hard for the person I'm talking to to understand, like, how I got to where I am from how I started. The, it's, it happens a lot because my brain just connects things in weird ways. So, in that explanation, um, I'm telling you this because my rant that I would like to do is probably something that I feel like most people probably have never thought of or given any thought to because I mentioned it to someone once and they said it was a great idea that they had never even considered it as like being something that should happen but um obviously it's a big thing that different languages are spoken like a lot of different languages are spoken throughout the whole world and depending on where you live you speak the language that is used where you live and I don't really know why I ever thought of this, but it's a huge thing here because we only speak English. Most countries speak two languages. They usually speak what's native and then they also speak English because we only speak English. So to be able to communicate with us, everyone else has to speak English, which is really rude of us, I think. We're kind of full of ourselves. but. 
people believe that if they live in the United States that they should only have to speak English because that's what we speak, which I think it's so ridiculous, but that's just the way Americans think, like, oh, we're America, we only have to speak one language because we're America and we're better than everyone else or something, I don't know, but since I was really little, as long as I can remember, I've wanted to learn how to speak Spanish, and I've wanted to learn sign language. And I was never really sure why I just did. And ever since then, I've tried to learn both of them. Obviously, being as little as I was, I couldn't learn it right away. Like, I didn't have any opportunities that allowed me to learn either of those. I'm sorry for the noise in the background. Let me fix that. Stupid air conditioner. It makes it annoying buzzing sometimes. But, as I was saying, Spanish and sign language. It's obviously communication is a huge barrier for some people. Like, trying to speak to people around the world. And... I understand, like, language being important in some aspects, but what I think, because it makes the most sense and it's so obvious and people never think of it, which drives me crazy, um, I think everyone in the whole world should learn sign language. Because think about it, instead of everyone trying to learn all these different languages, everyone could learn one language and be able to talk to anyone in the world. Because sign language is universal. It can be learned no matter what language you speak, you can learn sign language and then anyone else that knows sign language will be able to understand what you're saying. Sign language is the language that everyone should know because then you could talk to anyone in the world and you would be able to communicate with them. There would be no language barrier because you would be able to speak to them. And it's so obvious and no one even considers it. And I don't understand why. Like, it's, it's so simple, but no one does it. So that is my rant for the day. And, um... Yeah, learn sign language because it's so obvious. Use your hands. It's, I feel bad for people that don't have hands. Not, I mean, sign language, you know, you can't do sign language, but you're gonna suck if you don't have hands. But yeah, use your hands. They're very useful tools. And yeah, just learn something. <laughs> um, I only know a little bit of sign language, but I got this book that seems like it'll be very useful in learning sign language. Um, I put I'll put the I'll put I'll link the book um, name and title down in the description because I've learned a few useful words. Um, from it and it has like an index and pictures to show you how to do everything and yeah that's pretty much it. It was a good rant. I also finally got my license which is awesome. Lucy I hope to see you on Thursday.